Good morning. In this video, we're going to uh, get one step closer to having this forklift up and running and back in service by getting the fan shroud put in. And uh, there are a couple of things that I need to do first, which is put the water pump on, alternator, um, thermostat housing uh, with thermostat in it, obviously. And uh, yeah, there's some problems with that that I'll have to deal with. And uh, the belts. And the reason I've got to do all that before I put the fan shroud on is one, it takes up a lot of room when I put it on and um, it's just easier to work and get around with it uh, doing this work beforehand. And also I have to put a lot of belts on it. And the belts have to go around a drive shaft that uh, powers the hydraulic pump that, that makes everything go up and down and move and lift and do all the stuff that it's supposed to do. How's it going, man? <laughs> I'm out here right beside the road so you get friends are coming by. So yeah, so that drive shaft um, powers the, uh, the the hydraulic pump. I wouldn't run the belts around it. It's just easier to do that uh, with the fan out. So I'm going to do that first. Don't know if I'll get it running today, um, but uh, we're going to make a lot of progress and uh, hopefully get it if not get it running, get it very, very close to running today. So let's jump in, get started putting this uh, stuff back together. I'm running out of daylight, but it makes sense to try to put the uh, water pump, the uh, thermostat, um, to put those two on, get some belts on before I put the radiator fan on and then put it back into place because I've got room so I might as well take advantage of that so I'm gonna race the light and try to get this done before it gets too dark to see this is much easier to do when there's nothing in here the fan or nothing's in here way way easier to do torque just perfect <laughs> i don't think so i don't think it matters actually let's get the uh, thermostat on There we go. Just took a second to pop in. I didn't think this was going to be this hard. Thermostats typically aren't this hard. I think this thermostat is going down where I want it to. It's being a bit of a pain. There we go. Get the alternator back on here. I'm not going to worry about getting everything tight tonight. Just want to get the belts on and, and tighten them up later. But this will definitely make my life easier. Okay. Time to put belts on. Slide this underneath this drive shaft. Remember, that's the hydraulic drive shaft. So, started to say this drive shaft that runs on hydraulics is what raises and lowers the um, uh, the the forks and makes them go in and out.
Yeah, one belt's too big. The other one is smaller. <clears throat> and, yep, it actually is going to go there. Goes on nice and easy. There we go. Now I can lock down the power steering. And that's a win. I think for tonight, I'm going to call this good. I'm going to come back tomorrow and uh, finish putting the radiator on. Do the electronics and uh, try to get it started and see if we have the uh, see if we have the transmission fixed. That would be a really big deal if we did. I know the fan will be better, fuel pump will be working, a couple of things will work out, but I think it'll run tomorrow. Have a great evening. We'll see you in the morning. Well, we've had two rainstorms that I had to go inside for. And uh, I had a friend come over who hel actually helped me put the hydraulic pump to the drive shaft back in. And let me show you where that is. So earlier in the video, or in one of the previous videos, I had to take this off, pull this out to release the shaft. And the reason I had to do that is that all of these belts have to go outside that shaft. So that had to come off. I had been dreading that project for quite a while because there's a keyway in there and this pump will free spin. That won't spin very easy. You have to get them lined up, spline them in together and then put everything in, which uh, was not gonna be easy. So, Buddy of mine came over, actually to pick up a ladder, and uh, he helped me put that in. And because there was one of the rainstorms coming, we didn't film it. So that's in. That was a massive, massive jump forward. I did go ahead and pull that uh, alternator belt back off and replace it with something new. I've got all the um, all the new belts on, they're tightened down. I've cleaned all the contacts inside of the distributor cap, cleaned the contacts on all of this, and then I'm ready to put, so now I'm, I'm ready to put the fan in, which you'll see that's the fan. It is ready to go in here, get bolted in. Then I'm gonna figure out the wiring on all of this. Once I've got the wiring figured out, uh, down here, make sure that these switches are all working. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna set up the ignition switch up here, then we'll try to get it started. Hopefully, all this gets done today, and when it'll get rained on again. But I do think, as long as I don't get rained on, it'll all happen. With that, I'm gonna reposition the camera. I'm gonna jump into this. We're gonna get this fan mount it on here and start moving some of this project forward. I'm just going to get that set in for a minute. Loosely. and then start to tighten everything down the way it needs to be. For now, all I care about is just getting this 
so that it's just in there finger tight. Once I get that in, once I get it in finger tight, then I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and uh, tighten everything down. You may be wondering why I don't just take this radiator out. Well, there's actually two reasons why I'm not taking it out. One is the line, the cooling line for the transmission on the other side. I can't get to it up there and this end doesn't swivel. And these bolts that are holding the radiator on are all rusted and I just don't want to deal with them. So my goal is to get this on without taking the radiator out, which I think I've just done that. steering fluid hose moved. I think I need more fluid. Hoses are on. I think the radiator is ready to go back into place. Let's uh, go ahead and get it and get it in. It's get it back in its home. Let's get some hose clamps on. So when I made the transition from uh, the high mount fan down to the electronic fan, I lost the mounting bracket and also that other bracket or the, the uh, water, the thermostat housing held the water temperature sensor. So what I'm going to do is just a, yes it's a hack, it's not right, I'm going to put that on, put some hose clamps on, clamp that down, call it good. Once again, so hold forklift doesn't have to be fancy, just has to be functional, and that'll make it functional, and that's perfect. So, I'm going to jump on that and uh, get it done. You might be asking, why didn't I just replace the top, top mounted fan, not have to do all this? The reason being is that part is $800, because they don't make them anymore, and there's only one place you can find it. And they know that. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing with all of this. That should keep that good. Now let's fill it up and uh, try to get it started. All right, I'm back. Uh, I say I'm back. Earlier I was talking about throwing some um, antifreeze coolant in the system and trying to start it up. Well, I was doing that and I had a leak and it was coming out of the uh, thermostat housing and you'll see that crack right there. Well, that's a stupidity crack because um, I didn't get the thermostat seated down in there properly. I thought I did and uh, didn't seat it down in there properly. It was leaking, and instead of just stopping, taking it out, and starting over, and checking it, which I would have saw that it was, seen that it was not in there properly, I just cranked down on it and broke it. Ah, so, as a result, I'm down for a couple of days on that piece, on that piece of it right there. But, 
I can still work on getting the fuel pump in, getting the gas tank set up over here. There actually used to be a belly tank right there. I think I've mentioned that before. So I can work on getting the fuel pump in. I can work on getting the electronics ready, doing some of that. So I think I'm going to work on that and uh, wait for the thermostat housing to come in and then uh, put that in and hopefully have it ready to go. I know I keep saying, oh, I'll have this done here in a little while later on today, but the truth is it's taken me a couple of days to get this done, and it's probably going to take me a couple more to get it done. But I'm going to keep chipping away at it, and uh, hopefully I will get it done eventually. So here we go.